Hello and welcome. This is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. Recently, I was talking to a friend of mine who volunteers at a nonprofit organization, and she uses MailChimp to send out her emails. There are lots of events that go on within this nonprofit, and so she wanted to be able to schedule out announcements in advance in one sitting. So I thought about making a video for her to help her out and I thought why not make it a video for my viewers so that you too could learn and schedule out your emails in advance. All right, so here I am inside my MailChimp account and I'm going to show you first how to create a campaign and then in the second part, I'll show you how to take a campaign that's already uh, drafted, make a copy of it and schedule that one. So if you already have emails in your system, uh, I can show you how to schedule those out as well. First things first, let's start from the first step. Create a campaign. Click on this button here on the upper right that says create campaign. Click on email. And here, this is a regular email I'm creating, not an automated. Automated means it's a series of emails that goes out based on a trigger. But here is just a regular email. Uh, let's say April announcement. And this is a campaign name that's internal. So don't worry, this is just for you to know what it's called. Select who you're sending it to, choose an audience. I'm going to select, actually, yeah, why don't I just select this one? You can also select a particular segment or tag if you've set that up before. Click on save. From is correct. I can edit the from here and say this is from Sophia, this is my actual email. Edit your subject line. Something like this. Click Save. Design your email. Now, this is very important to know. If you've already designed a template, you don't need to create it over and over. It will most likely be saved and un be under saved templates right here. So if you have designed a template before, you can just scroll through what you've designed and use that as a starting point. Uh, or you can use one of these templates to start from scratch or use a theme that MailChimp has pre-designed for you. These are also very nicely made templates that you can build from and customize, of course. Uh, use one of the templates you've created or use a email that you've already sent out. Let's say you sent out an email last week and you designed that from scratch, that template. You can select it again from here. All right, so there's many, many ways. Of course, you can also code your own, which is a more advanced level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a template that I've created before. And for the purposes of time, I'm not going to work with this. You will, you will know how to edit this, right? Uh, if you're sending out an email, you can use any of these uh, blocks and uh, customize your, your email. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip editing the email. I'm going to show you what to do next. Um, here you can enter a preview mode and see what it looks like on desktop, desktop, mobile, and in an in inbox, which is a advanced feature. And you can also send yourself a test email so that you can see what it looks like. I do this all the time so that I can check my work and make any corrections. There's always a little typo, a full stop or a comma that's missing or some silly error that one tends to make. So just send yourself a test. Just put your own email here and click send test. And um, that way you can open your inbox, see what an email would look like when your audience receives it. 
After you've done all that, come back and make any changes that are needed. And here is save as template. Remember earlier I said you could choose a template that's already been designed? Well, once you worked with an email, here you can click on save as template. And that way this email that I've created will be my 2019 template, for example, for announcements. And I can overwrite. In this case, I'm going to save as new. Bam, I have a template now, which I can pull from in the future. All right, once you've edited your email, made all the corrections, you can save and close. And now this is where you have three options. You can leave it as draft. And for that, you just click finish later and it will become a draft, which is already in draft mode. You can schedule it for a later time and date, or you can send it right away. All right, so I'm going to show you how to schedule it. Sending it right away is pretty clear. You just click send and follow the instructions. Finish later, we'll put it to draft and schedule. And here is the awesome feature. You can select a date you want something to go out. So let's say there's an event happening on April 24th. You can schedule this email to come out on April 22nd. It's also good to select a specific time. Early mornings are good times to send your email so that people can have access to them. They will go out during your time zone. Okay, so I'm in Eastern zone, so that's 7 a.m. Eastern time. That's when this email will be sent out on April 22nd. And that's it, really. Schedule campaign. It will say, give me this rock on icon telling me that I have scheduled it. I can go to my campaigns and then I can click the audience that I'm sending out this email to and you'll see that it has this scheduled email showing up over here. So it shows me that this email is scheduled for Monday, April 22nd, 7 a.m. If you find that you need to change something, you can pause and edit. Pause here and jump back. The email is completely stopped. It's not scheduled. And once you've made all the changes, go into edit design, make the changes, save, and then come back to resume campaign. And it will remember the scheduled time that you have set up for it. That's it. That's how you would schedule your campaigns. Important to note is once you go into campaigns, if you have multiple audiences, it may not show the audience that you've created this email for, right? So I created this for, which one was it? Uh, well, it's already showing me the happiness member. Um, and so now I can see the email that I have scheduled for that particular audience. Now, if you already have an email, that has been sent out. So for example, completed. Let's say there was, oh, so many tests. <laughs> so let's say this email was sent out, test copy three. What you can also do is create a replicate. Essentially, it's a duplicate email, exact same email. And it will allow you to correct the audience. If you wanted to edit the recipient, send it to a different audience, you can do that. And go into edit design and whatever that test email was, you can edit it, make the changes, save and close again and schedule. So this is basically to show that if you have already sent out an email and you just wanted to um, work with that format, you can replicate it and then schedule it out as well. So I hope that this was helpful for you. I showed you how you can schedule a brand new email from campaigns, how to create a brand new campaign and schedule it out. And I also showed you towards the very end how to take an email that's already been sent out, replicate it, edit it and then schedule it out. So my friend, I hope that you found this video helpful. Go ahead and schedule out your emails in one sitting. 
free up that time to create content or do whatever else you need to do in your business. And if you would like to have more information about what I do, go to sophiaoja.com. I design websites for small businesses and nonprofits and creatives like artists and authors. And I also offer email marketing services. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.